But that's what the benzene ring is going to look like. So we can draw that neater in that, but I want you to see this is how I do it. With all everything that I know. So phenylalanine has this as a side group. Carbon, benzene ring. And this is the way you work it out. I mean, see what I'm giving you here are the tools to do this. You don't memorize it. People try and memorize. Go back to kindergarten. Learn it. So there's phenylalanine. Now the next one we we're going to compare to it is going to have a ring with an OH on it. So let's get our template here. Nitrogen should be blue. We're, we're using all recyclable materials today to teach us with you. So I hope you kids are happy about that because every single one of these markers I found in my recycle adventures, this paper with some gal's resume, <laughs> so it's really nice paper. Fortunately, it's printed on the back. Here's the diamond. So we're going to set phenylalanine over there for a minute. Diamond. Diamond in the middle. This goes to that to the arm. This one goes to the bottom. This gets a double bonded O up there. So it's got all four. Do our dots now for you dot compulsives. There's that. We're going to come down. It always goes to a diamond, just about. If I say always, I'll find an example where it doesn't. Like before, I said something about, oh, that's the only sulfur. Well, there's two amino acids with sulfurs. This is C. C. So see, that's the backbone again. See how good you get at it? You see the way they match together here? I mean, this is cool. Kids, you realize not how simple a thing you're learning. This is what people in college get their degrees and they still don't understand all this. Okay, so phenylalanine, see how that looks? We can kind of overlap this sucking here because we don't want it to look the same. Getting close. Okay, so as we come down here, we want, where's the alcohol? The tyrosine. Tyrosine has a diamond, then it has called an aromatic ring, so we don't know how the double bonds are going to go yet, so it doesn't even matter. We're going to do it as we go along here. There's a diamond. There's a diamond. There's six to the diamond. Six to the benzene. Now I ran out of room down there. How do you like that? So what we need coming off that diamond is going to be a single O, and O needs two, so what's O going to get in the middle? It's going to get a dot. Benzene rings, these all get a dot on them. There's one on each because from experience we know is a flat six, so if there's six bonds that it's going to get, it needs a proton on the flat outside, so it's surrounding the thing here. So let's go back now, and this is how we do it. This is how a well-weathered, know-it-all chemist does it. We got our six around here. We got it already bound to the ring. We'll draw your dots on for you compulsives. Okay. So we know that where the first carbon comes off now is where they always draw the double bond. So if you think on this carbon here, we just pick one of them, it doesn't matter because they're going to be the same. So there's a double bond. Now as we come across here, each of these carbons has to at least be attached once, right? Oh, I didn't draw my diamonds very good. I didn't draw them good at all, did I? I apologize. I'm trying to get fast here. So when we look, here's one that doesn't have a bond. There's one that doesn't have a bond. One, two, three, so let's put one in there. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, that's fine. 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 One, two, three, up. What do we got up here? One, two, three, up. So that gets the double bond. So when they draw these structures, you'll see that there's three of the double bonds. I prefer to draw a circle and do all this fancy elaborate stuff. But this is how, if you can draw the chemical structures, you'll 
it's a third of your grade. This is tyrosine. So how does tyrosine compare to phenylalanine? Back this up a little bit here. We're just looking at the bottoms here. Phenylalanine, let me get the caps on these things. Is a benzene ring just hanging off there. Tyrosine is a benzene ring hanging off with a alcohol group on it, OH. So let's see, this is one of our polar, we'll call it a polar. And for our note taking thing, we'll draw that it's in alcohol. I think we were using red for alcohol. <coughs> So, see how easy it is? These are amino acids. This is real chemistry, kids. This is as complicated as it gets. So, we'll use our template again for our backbone. We got all that nice looking neat like it ought to be. Purple, purple triangle. Okay, what I'm going to have to do now is make these smaller because we got some big long chains hanging off the end here. There's our diamond. Got our template. We know we're just going to put this one in the middle for now. And we know that this arm goes to the side. That's an arm to the bottom. We've got our carbonyl. So there's the O, double bound. Draw the dots in to make it look neat so everybody's all happy. Always comes down to a diamond. So there's a diamond. What one are we going to do now? Let's finish the ones we were doing on the top. This is going to be a long one. It's going to get kind of complicated, but I don't want you to worry. This is tryptophan. We used to have a dog, tryptophan. TRP is the three-letter designation. So coming down here, what it goes to is diamond and diamond and then it's got a little ring here so what it's going to need to do here is go up to a diamond to a diamond yeah I got to draw these neater I got to take my time and draw these like diamonds so it looks as neat as it does in my head. So what goes out on the end of that diamond, do you think? Tryptophan, do you remember the tryptophan snowman? Remember we gave him the little nose? Well, it's a nitrogen. So how's a nitrogen? Three bonds. One, two, what do you think's on the end of that? A dot. And to make things easier, these are double bonds here too. So we're going to go that way, because that's going to go down to another diamond. And how else can we do this here? We'll just have to go that way. So double bonds, double bonds. Now see, it may look kind of sloppy in that, but you're accounting for all the bonds. This is what chemistry is, is when you're drawing these structures, Carbon has to have the four, the tetrahedral, they call it. Tetrahedral is a geometric space thing that it takes up. But four bonds is what it takes here. So when you're looking now, you got one, two, three. That's going to need a dot. One, two, three. This is filling another ring there. So that gets a dot, that gets a dot, that gets a dot. We have another ring to do, though. But we're not afraid because we know they're just diamonds. This is a six-membered ring. that goes there, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we could have drawn this better, but we were kind of in a hurry here. So there's two double bonds on this thing, so let's just draw two there. One, two, and now just go through with the red dot and fill anybody that needs one. It looks like, since I drew this sloppy, I better clean 